Number 11, uh, we want to let A be the set MQ, uh, B be the set KMNPQ, determine if the statement is true or false. A is a subset of B. Again, let's go back to the definition, A being, sorry, proper subset, not subset. A is a proper subset of B. A has less elements than B. So that's first check. Next is everything in A contained in B. So we have M and M, Q and Q. So yes is less than, they're all contained. So it is a proper subset. Proper subset also means it is a subset. So both of those would actually be true. But this one just asking proper subset. So the statement is false. Uh, no, we've determined it to be true. Uh, B says the statement is true. Every element of A is contained in set B and A is not equal to B. So there is the definition right here of proper subset. So this is true. Um, 12, we want to tell whether the statement is true or false. Uh, U is a universal set. So this is a set consisting of all elements that we are that are in question. Uh, so T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The last, what, six or seven letters of the alphabet. A is W, Y, B, Z, T, V, X, W, C is V, T, X, D is W, V. And it says there are exactly 32 proper subsets of B. So where is B? Right here. So let's talk about how do we count how many proper subsets <clears throat> and subsets. Okay, so we're going to be counting subsets and proper subsets. Um, starting with subsets. In order to count how many subsets, you're going to do the number 2, and it's always the number 2, raised to the power of the number of elements in the set. Number of elements. Okay, so you're going to count how many elements are in the set, um, and you're going to do two raised to that power. All right, proper subsets. I'll give you a small example, and then we'll just do the math. Proper subsets is going to be a similar formula. You're going to do two raised to the power of the number of elements again EL I messed this up number of elements in set I'm just going to abbreviate and then you're going to take whatever this number is and subtract one Okay, and I'll show you why that is right here below. So I'm going to use a small number example here. Um, let's just say again that said I used earlier 1 and 2. We're going to list all the possible sets, all the possible subsets. Um, so all the possible subsets would be the empty set, the set containing nothing, the set consisting of the element 1 only, the set consisting of 2 only, and then the set consisting of everything 1 and 2. Okay, so this is me listing all of the subsets. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. This set has two elements in it, so according to the formula, we would do 2 
to the second power. This means 2 times itself 2 times. 2 times 2 gives us 4. Alright, so that's how we get the number of subsets right here. The number of proper subsets, remember proper means, so this symbol means similar to the less than. It has less than the number of elements, sorry, less than uh, the full number of elements. So the only one of these uh, that contains all of them would be this one right here. So proper subset cannot contain everything. So when you get rid of that set, that's the minus one, getting rid of the whole set, it leaves you with one, two, three. So that's how we get this formula. Two to the second power minus one, which will end up being four minus one. Sorry, you cannot see what I'm writing. Um, sorry. Uh, so all I did was wrote the two squared minus one. So this is how we determine number of subsets, number of proper subsets. All right, um, this one is talking about set B. Uh, set B has one, two, three, four, five elements, and we want to know proper subsets. Okay, so proper subsets means two to the n power minus one. We got to do that minus one part. So there's five elements. So what I'm going to be doing is 2 to the fifth power and then minus 1. So you don't subtract 1 from here, you subtract 1 from your final answer. Okay. So this means 2 times itself 5 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and then you subtract 1. Alright, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So we get 32 minus 1, which gives us 31 proper subsets. So B does not have 32 proper subsets. It has 31. So this statement would be false.